You're not just going to suddenly raise your shield because you think so. You're not going to throw a blow because you want to, but they're out of range. All right. On offense, what do we need second? Target recognition. There you go. You reading notes? I just remember Okay. <laughs> Target recognition. I'm in the right range for targets A, B, C, and F. It's easy, right? I'll guarantee you, you do this every time you fight. Right? Every time you fight, this is going to happen. Now then, on defense, can we actually say target recognition? Shot recognition? Threat recognition? Area recognition, whichever way you want to put it. Because the bad news is, <clears throat> Thorn, if you would, on guard. Where's this going? Oh, really? <laughs> you think so? <laughs> yeah, not anymore. Now, where's that blow going? Back of the head. It's, it's going to go right where I want it to. Which means if I suddenly do a body movement and I lift it up, he has to recognize that. If I come off his shield and I fade, right? But that first shot, it's like, where's that going? And if you predetermine something for me, I guarantee you I'm not going to put it there. It is not going to go where you think it is. Now we're back to success and percentages. Right. So thank you, Grace. So the idea is, is that where do we call it? Threat recognition, area recognition. Shot recognition is pushing it a little too far because, as I just showed you, you don't know that. Right. So we can call it threat. I use area because what I'm going to try and do with my shield is cut off an area. I'm not going to go specifically and try and apply it to that exact blow. I'm going to try and cut off an area. Now, the ideas in this are, are various, but when we start to move around, you're going to suddenly see, and how successful have you been with that now, Octum, attacking the blade? Um, still hard against the right-handed opponent. Is it? Okay. Um, it's doing better We're going to go into a lot of things, a lot of things where you're going to be attacking the blade as it starts to come out, before it gets to it, what I call a commitment point. The commitment point was that point that I put that blade in. Is it going up? Is it going down? Is it going to cut across inside with a slight body movement into a fade or an attack on the offside? It's like if you catch that blade at that moment, there you go. It's dead. Right? So you basically put your, your shield in that area. Okay, so all of a sudden, I'm on offense. I have a target. Blow selection. Okay. This is good. How many different shots do I have at this person's head? Right? Legs, arms. We, we all know what our targets are. However, based on the, on the circumstance of the body position and everything else, all of a sudden, you're not standing straight in front of them. You're off at a diagonal now. So now, you know, or they're attacking you, so they're not straight in front of you, so now they're coming at you. So what are you gonna, which blow are you going to throw? What are you going to do? Right? And I guarantee you, if you're one of these two people, this is where stuff starts going wrong. Because if you're standing there thinking about it, it's like, oh, oh, mama, you know? And that little flag in your head is going, danger, Will Robinson, danger! Right? And there's a lot of times where you'll actually respond to it, and sometimes you just back away. You know? How prevalent is backing away in this kingdom? Opponent comes to engage and everybody just goes whoop, and they're all of a sudden, whoosh, we're not fighting anymore. I'm just playing, stay away from you. Is that prevalent here? Yes, yes very much. It's also very prevalent in Artemisia. No, I, you know, when, when we were younger, it never happened. It, you didn't run away. Boy, once you were engaged, you stayed in range. And the fight continued until it was over. But that's the way we were trained. And now this backing up stuff, I just, it's like, why do you want to regain the ground you just, you just took? 
right? And, and, I'm, and it just confuses the bejesus out of me. Because when somebody backs up, I stand there. I just wait. It's like, come here. I can give you an answer. You can? Yeah. Good. It wasn't my idea. Oh, <laughs> the backing up wasn't your no, idea? No, if you close and, and you're coming at me very quickly, I back up. Because, Why? Well, it wasn't my idea to swing at that precise moment. It was your idea. Maintain range. And you I didn't even swing. Have a plan. No, but you're, you're closing range for a reason. Right. 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 And, 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 and what else? And yeah, what else? And what else am I also doing? I'm becoming into your range. Oh yeah, certainly. So if you're not ready to to take care of that, you're going to yeah. leave. Yes, I'm not definitely. Things have changed, my friend. <laughs> All right. So now we've got close selection. So on defense, Sagan. we obviously have a Sagan. defense selection. Sagan. Yeah. Could I add a, an of added course. thought okay. to that of whole course. subject there? You know, the whole idea of in this kingdom, there's a lot of people that charge mm -hmm. and, and people back away and run away. Mm -hmm. um, what I like to use, just as an added thought for you people, is it looks like I'm backing away, you but I'm actually staying in fighting range, mm -hmm. knowing that you're attacking me. Exactly. I'm getting you to slightly overreach, open something up as you charge. Taking the right. and I'm, so I'm not running away, but I'm using my footwork to move away from you, gaining an opening. Exactly. And the other part to do that is, what is, his, what is his grace? Just say he's taking advantage of on his opponent. Go back over there. Go back over there. What did I just do to you mentally? Right. He's leaving. He's leaving. Far out. He's leaving. Oh, no, his stick stayed behind. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that when that happens. The bloody stick of his always hangs around. And why did that happen? Because you didn't pay attention to range. Right? He's leaving. He's leaving. Well, wait a minute. How far can he reach? Don't know. Right? One of my trainees in, in Artemisia is six foot five. You put a 36-inch stick in his hand, and all of a sudden, that's a whole lot of distance when he takes one big step and extends that weapon, because that's how far his range is. So now you're trying to gauge this guy backing up. Uh-huh. Yeah, that ain't going to happen. <laughs> OK, so defense selection. On defense, three different ways. Okay, We went over them last time. Okta? Yeah, you. Uh, uh, Take the easy one, block. <laughs> Take the easy, what's the other two? I would say movement, move into the weapon or move and, into the position where. And the last one is? Accept. Kill. No, accept. <laughs> accept. <laughs> well, or, what my, what my distinguished friend wanted to say, but his brain didn't report, okay? Block it, <laughs> evade it, or accept it. There you go. Thank you. I, I, I knew, I knew I you rolled them out for me at the end. Okay. <laughs> now, There's no now in your the mind. obvious <laughs> odd one <laughs> is why would you accept that? Okay. Why would I accept that? I've got my legs sticking out like this, and I know you, and you're headed right for it. Is this leg going to move? Because you're like this? Oh, yeah. That leg's going to stay right there, and this leg's going to come forward, and I'm going to be swinging at the back of your helmet, and now while you're doing this, you're going to have to do this, too. Right? And if you manage to get my leg, okay, that's fine, you know. My sweet spot on my stick just encumbered itself upon the back of your head. I've got no problem with this. This is a fair trade all day long. Right? Same thing. How... There's all kinds of traits that, again, we're going to go into in training. How many people have you watched, and when they're fighting, they do real well standing here. When they go to shoot, they do this. The shield drops. The shield goes like this. So if they're going to swing at my leg, and they're going to leave their entire center open, am I going to bother blocking? No, I'm just going to kill them. But again, you have to be trained to react to that, not to stand there and think about it. Because speed kills. Right? Or it saves lives. If you're not actually quick enough to get in there and you start late, they've got more time to use their shield because their body movement is completed. And if you're swinging right now, they can actually reverse their movement and get to it. Okay? 